Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about how Rockstar is likely going to be breaking a DLC pattern that they've never done before. And I'll explain what I'm talking about in this video today. So we've got a couple bits of information to talk about. The first comes from Spider Vice, who's a moderator on the GTA forum site. He said this yesterday. He said, Rockstar hasn't built updated QA Beta 2 GTA 5 on PC for a couple of days now. That usually means they're ready to switch branches to QA Beta for DLC testing. Now, he followed up to another question that was, maybe they found a way to hide the QA Beta updates, even if that's possible. And he said, no way to do that. This is all via Valve's Steamwork API. Not sure why, this is a surprise. Rockstar always stops the updates for a while when a new DLC is ready and it only makes sense as the drip feed is over. They will now supposedly pass over to the QA beta branch and then release that in one to two weeks as it's been done before. So when Spider Vice posted that 20 or 19 hours ago when I'm making that video, that made sense. However, if we check the QA beta branch today, you can see QA beta has still not been updated, but QA beta 2 was updated around four hours ago. So this isn't meant to say that Spider Vice is wrong, he's just wrong about the timing. Rockstar is still updating QA Beta 2. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at this right here. This is a graph or a chart or a calendar that was created by Foxy Snaps. And it has to do with the 2016 and 2017 releases of all the content we've seen so far. So in case you're confused by this calendar, what this basically takes a look at is three things. The first QA beta update, the final QA beta update, and then when we see the DLC actually getting released. So let's take a look at the most recent example and why I'm worried we might not get an update in March. So in November 17, on November 21st, we saw QA Beta get updated. That was for the Doomsday Heist. That was actually updated three weeks before it ended up coming out. So you can see three full weeks passed before the Doomsday Heist update came out, with the final update being on December 7th, when Rockstar sort of finalized everything. If we go back even further for Smuggler's Run, that updated over three weeks before we saw that update. On August 2nd, we saw that Smuggler's Run get its first QA beta update, with the final one coming just about a week before release, and then, of course, the DLC coming out on the 29th of August. Now, if we go back further than that, Gun Running, it got its first QA beta update nearly a month before it came out on May 17th whereas the update didn't come out on June 13th. And even for a small DLC like Cunning Stunt Special Vehicle Circuit, it's typically two weeks before the QA beta is updated before we'll see a new DLC, which happened on February 28th, and the update came out on March 14th. So almost two weeks on the dot. Now, I'm not going to be going back to the 2016 ones, but you get the idea. We need QA beta to update before we get a DLC, and we typically need to see at least two to three to four weeks pass, depending on how big the update is. So what that basically means is things are not looking all that great for an update to come out in March, at least when we expected it to come out around the 13th. There is a chance Rockstar could push it back maybe till later in the month, but right now, without that QA beta branch getting updated, it's kind of hard to believe something is gonna happen. Now, let's get back to that pattern I wanted to talk to you guys about. In the top right-hand corner, really what I want you to focus on is the days between DLCs. Now, don't look at all of them. The three that are important are 92, 91, and 91. So from the Heist DLC to Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1, it was 92 days. Now, the reason it wasn't 91 days is because for whatever reason, Rockstar decided that they would want to release that update on a Wednesday. I'm not sure why, but they did. And then from Import Export to Cunning Stunt Special Vehicle Circuit, it was 91 days. And from Special Vehicle Circuit to Gun Running, it was 91 days too. So let's just call them 91 days for the sake of it. That's the longest time we've seen a gap between a new update and Grand Theft Auto Online. And wouldn't you know that Tuesday, March 13th, 2018 is 91 days. So if Rockstar doesn't release a DLC on Tuesday, March 13th, 2018, it will be the longest time 
in between updates in Grand Theft Auto Online. Rockstar breaking a pattern of nearly three to four years of updates. And as we touched on a little bit earlier, it's looking very unlikely that this March 13th date is a possibility. I mean, even if the QA beta branch were to update today after I make this video go live, that's still only 11 days between now and when that update would supposedly come out, which is less than two weeks. So number one, I don't think that would be very likely. And number two, to me, that would indicate a very small DLC, something even smaller than Cunning Stunt's special vehicle circuit. So I don't think that is going to be the case, and I hope it's not the case either. I wouldn't want Rockstar to rush out a not great DLC with not a ton of content just to sort of meet that 91 day threshold. So honestly guys, don't be surprised if we don't get an update in March because now it is looking more and more likely like that might not be the case. It might be pushed back or even slightly delayed. Now of course, Rockstar could surprise us. They are known for stuff like that. But I tend to believe Spider Vice here when he says it's not possible to see an update without having that QA beta branch get updated as well. Now, something else the QA beta branch means is basically before this uh, branch is updated, it's very, very unlikely for us to see a trailer or screenshot. The QA beta update always has to come first before we see trailers, screenshots, and information. If you go back and look at that calendar again, you can see there's never a point in time where the information comes before the QA beta update. So what I think this means is until we see that branch update, it's very unlikely that we're gonna see anything regarding this next update. Trailer, newswire posts, screenshots, anything like that. And what's interesting is it seems Rockstar is almost sort of prepping for an update to come out but we're just not getting any other signs that they're doing so. You guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I talked about how Rockstar has actually updated their GTA 5 trailer playlist. I would assume that would be for a Grand Theft Auto Online DLC trailer of some sort. So I, again, I, you would assume Rockstar is working on something like that. And then a couple of days ago when the Fister 190Z was released, if you check the Newswire article via Social Club, the previous article, Karen 190Z, is now available in online, plus GTA money bonuses, discounts on yacht vehicles, and more, redirects to 60393, which doesn't exist unless it's an early version of that article on the Dev Newswire, which means it's likely Rockstar has already planned another Newswire post, they just haven't made it public. Is that the information we're waiting for? Is it just another event week? Is it something for Red Dead Redemption 2? All I know is it's going to be a very interesting couple of weeks here and online. But the big thing is just waiting for that QA beta branch to update. And as soon as it does, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated, filled in, in the loop, so that we can expect a whole bunch of other stuff coming soon, likely an, a release date, information, trailer, screenshots, etc. It's funny how stuff like this works. Literally, as I was wrapping up this video, as I was ready to start closing it down and start editing it up, the QA beta branch has been officially updated in Grand Theft Auto Online. So we got this tweet from FunMW2. He said, QA beta updated. He linked to the Steam database page and he said, new update is being prepared for final testing in Grand Theft Auto Online. And then Foxy Snaps also confirmed that the QA beta branch was updated as well with a build ID of 2570544. So literally everything I just said about having to wait about a trailer, having to wait about um, you know information, screenshots, all that good stuff, that's now ready to roll. And it, it kind of does confirm that it's looking like a new DLC might actually be coming out in the month of March now. Now, it may not be on March 13th. March 20th might be looking like a more likely release date because it's only 11 days between now and March 13th, uh, which typically doesn't give Rockstar enough time to do all their testing. So I'm gonna say the 20th actually could be a pretty big possibility here, but that means the next couple of weeks are likely gonna be very excited. There's a good chance that next week we get a trailer, information, screenshots, details on whatever the next update is gonna be in online, which obviously should be pretty exciting. So 
I'm definitely very hyped for this. I'm sorry that I had to explain all of that information, uh, but it was still pretty good details and it does give you some, some insight on you know how the QA beta branch works. And it's actually even probably good that I went over that because it, it kind of gives you an idea of, well, maybe this is how long we're gonna have to wait and how many QA beta updates we might be getting in between. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Let me know in the comments down below when do you think the next update is going to be coming out in Grand Theft Auto Online? Is it going to be on March 13th? Is it going to be on March 20th? Is it going to be a later date? And what do you think of the QA beta branch finally getting updated in online as well? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.